Hi and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my review for Netflix's film Violet Evergarden The Recollections. It's basically a condensed recap of the moving gorgeously animated award winning series. Have you heard of this? Let me know if you're going to watch this. I'm going to talk about it non-spoiler if you haven't seen it for those that haven't seen the series or the movies. But first, as always, as we're going through December, I am doing advent calendar, Star Wars advent calendars and I opened them up and this week we got a young Luke with a blue overalls and the one I missed yesterday because uh, I was very ill yesterday so I decided not to review anything and just rest up we got a Leia in a red sort of Santa outfit so that's pretty cool let's jump in an emotionally scarred former child soldier becomes a letter writer in this condensed recap so there are going to be two camps of people. One that haven't seen any of the Violet Evergarden uh, series or the movies, don't really know anything about it. See this new anime film on Netflix and go, oh, I might give that a go, a go. It looks gorgeous. And I think you will love it and be emotionally engaged, but feel like you're missing something. And I felt like that, even though I've seen the series a while ago and recently watched the movies, I still felt like there was missing stuff. And then there's going to be those in the other camp that have seen the movie, seen the camp, big fans of it, and jump in and go, okay, so what is this really? And you watch it and you go, yeah, I'm still feeling those emotional beats, those emotional moments that is so evident in this series. It's still there, but I feel like it's probably still there for those that have seen the series that have those recollections to call a back upon when you remember those moments because they've been fleshed out much more. And so this recap condensed bits just kind of your brain is filling in the bits that aren't there. For those that haven't seen it, my wife was watching bits of it with me as she was on her iPad and she was emotionally engaged with some of it and she's never seen the series. So I do think you will be emotionally engaged and part of the reason why this is so emotionally engaging, how many times can I say that, emotionally engaging, is the the animation style is beautiful. I mean that is a word that you can probably say over every, at any point, over every episode and movie, especially this condensed version. It just looks beautiful to look at. It's beautiful to watch. It's emotionally engaging in its beauty. And then you have the score, which is so very much designed to I guess, I mean, everything is. <laughs> any movie or editor or TV series, they want to have this cohesiveness that spurs on the next scene. I think the school this time round is a major character though and often will be the thing that drives the next part of the story forward, kind of carrying on. Because we have these condensed moments uh, where the story will skip to the next story where it would have taken three to four episodes, there's sometimes a gap that you will feel that you're missing and the score will help kind of fix those gaps and move you on to the next bit. And then when there's emotional moments, the, the, the strings or the instruments, the score will, I guess, really help with that. There's no guessing about it. It will really help with that. The emotional engagements that you get is between the beauty of what the characters are going through, the emotional intensity of what our character is learning, as well as the combatness of the, you know, the complete edit with the score involved. That all comes as to the beauty of the series, not necessarily the condensed version of this, but it still works, which is I was surprised with. And then talking about Violet, I mean, if you know nothing about this story, this young lady who has mechanical arms getting to learn what they are you can go and watch the series to find out what happened to her but we kind of start at the point where she is in a hospital she's kind of recovering she's learning to use her fingers and she is told that the person that she kind of loves is still giving her orders but is not around she is very regimented because of her past of you know, how she grew up what she's taught she is a soldier through and through and so she takes orders and that's how she functions as a person so when she becomes a doll, she's got to learn how to function as that, as a letter writer and taking these letters and writing them for people, meeting new people along the way. So she grows in character as other people grow and be affected by who she is as a person. And I really like the mix of that world. And it comes across quite strongly just in the movie, the condensed version of this. I think it surprisingly works well, but I would suggest that if you love the movie, definitely go back and watch the series and then watch 
watch the other movies the series for definite and the movies as well you're gonna love the the story bit of the arcs that you missed that bring tissues because it is one of those it's beautiful stunning to look at and just wonderful to watch i'm gonna give this four nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you got one Congratulations. I probably would give the series five, so it kind of gives you an idea of what's in there. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Was it too just too much missing? Or did you get the most of what you needed to? Did you think it worked as a condensed movie as well? Love to hear your thoughts. Voice work on English and dub is both great. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.